Hyperplastic polyposis syndrome is characterized by the presence of multiple serrated lesions with predominance within the right hemicolon. Since it is associated with a high risk of developing colorectal cancer, endoscopists need to recognize this syndrome during colonoscopy. Here we look at the ascending colon of a 45-year-old female patient. Without any auxiliary means, we might see some lesions, but this is truly just the tip of the iceberg. Spraying with indigocarmine dramatically improves demarcation of these flat lesions, and now we see many more. This is another patient with hyperplastic polyposis. In the cecum, we see this typical flat yellowish lesion that looks like bile stained. These lesions have the characteristic appearance of sessile serrated adenoma. Apart from this finding, withdrawal of the endoscope is pretty uneventful. Now we get back to the lesions in the cecum after dye spraying. We see abundant surface mucus and the characteristic pit pattern of serrated lesions, the so-called Kudo type 2 pattern with stellar and papillary pits. Again, we withdraw the colonoscope and appreciate the additive findings we detect with chromo endoscope. Look at this completely flat lesion within the level of the regular mucosa. According to the Paris classification, this phenotype is classified as 2B type. As you can now see easily, there are lesions on nearly every haustral fold. Some of these lesions also have a polypoid or sessile phenotype. The surface of this small circumscript lesion is good example of the Kudo type 2 pit pattern with round pits. This is the third case presented here. During dye spraying, we use the catheter to straighten mucosal folds for inspection of the proximal side. Here we see this large flat lesion that appears as a thickened fold. You can appreciate all characteristic features of a serrated adenoma, mucus covering, kudos pit pattern 2 with typical stellate crypt orifices, and a flat phenotype. Before resection of these flat lesions, it is advisable to carefully mark the margins of the lesion with electrocautery, since the demarcation might be difficult after lifting of the lesion by submucosal injection. Before resection, we withdraw the colonoscope to inspect the rest of the ascending colon. Like in the cases before, chromoendoscopy helps to demarcate lesions that were not detected before without dye. Have a look. This type 2 lesion here is nearly invisible without surface enhancement. It is just the pit pattern that shows the margins to the regular mucosa. Keep in mind that we have to detect and resect all of these lesions in order to reduce the risk of malignancy in our patients with hyperplastic polyposis syndrome. The risk of colorectal cancer corresponds to the lesion burden.